It's a Euro 2025 qualifier between two of the best in world football. Drake back in the starting lineup, re establishing England's strongest centre back pairing for the first time in over a year. Lucy Bronze moves ahead of Steph Horton after her red card v Sweden and with PSG captain Grasgeora only on the bench. Otherwise, it's four from French champions Leon and three from runners up PSG. So plenty of applause in this stadium. The stand continues. Well, away we go, the first of a France doubleheader. And the first time seeing this England on a Serena Wiegmann face France. One of the world's best feared. And Cascarino had the chance there. Certainly prefer her number one choice to stay out there. There's an emotion, really. Just outside the six-yard box. In goes that France corner towards and now there's Lily Bright with a clearance and England should be able to get away and then it's fired back in but not on. Because we got Bright and Williamson back together that that was... I'm not sure that she'll be ready when she gets her gloves on. Yes, there were some people questioning her moving to... Eight minutes in. Carter. Yeah, Almeida is often... Found. And two. But that's a loose pass. Shall we can bring it forward here? Look to release fleet of foot Cascarino. The Toto in the middle, Cascarino. So many lovely players in this France team. Basher, terrific crosser of the ball. The schoolgirl who passed away so tragically on a school trip. Yeah, it's fair to say that they've underperformed the talent that they've had over the years and they've not won. Particularly in these major competitions. Yes, never stand in the quarterfinals on penalties to Australia in the last World Cup to forward. And Mead swings it in towards Bright. And would be delighted to have Millie Bright back for those set pieces. Now Mead has made a very good run. Couldn't quite take it in her stride. Yeah, it's a good ball, isn't it? From Jess Carter. She's certainly one of the best defenders. That England have got Jess Carter, a little unlucky back in the starting lineup, and she's probably the most natural goal scorer that England have got. Job in women's football, and has done really well in terms of introducing new faces. Russo driving away from Lacra, waiting for support. It breaks to England. Me picks it up. And a shirt tucked. Quick look over. In possession. Nada was caught earlier and players that had fallen out with the, the previous coach and a bit of calm. They made it in that one. Sit to Carter. And Toon, who's appealing for handball. Referee playing advantage. And England take advantage. Bronze for Cascarino getting back. And that did enough to put Bronze off with the slap for Cascarino. Was. And who went for the ball here between the two of them? She just did, did all she could, Lucy Bronze, to get the ball in the get a better contact on it. Just trying to guide it into that far corner. It's a bit more positive from an England point of view. As hosts, the Toto, first chance for her to stretch her legs, but Bright easing her off the ball. She can go shoulder to shoulder with the Toto. To forward and towards Russo returns so well. She has got the beating of Mission to turn whole defenders off. Just didn't connect with it right. But he is Rachel Daly. He trying to push her way through. That's so England's first tournament under Serena Vigman, major tournament. It was Beth Mead, a major goal scorer. That's loose from France. And him. In there, it's goal, Beth Mead, and she knows that she's got a split second, and she uses that. Quite a lot of players panic in that position and think that they have to take the, the shot straight away, but she knew. And it's Beth Mead back in a starting lineup for England after her injury issues. It's good play. Yeah, good time to score as well. I think you know they were struggling in this game, England. Thirty. Three. 
for Beth Mead in an England shirt. She has quite... Hemp inside. A Walsh will give England confidence. Akira Walsh moves it on to Carter. Sliding across Karshawi, lovely challenge. That goes back now. Did that go out of play? The flag is up on the far side. So will be those loose passes at the back, and it just gives. And France haven't taken advantage with this one. Hampton, a great set piece. It looked like it was it just made a run beyond, but she had just the body shape. Dale Almeida, it's a terrific finish. All in behind, or she gets in behind if you do. It's a little bit poor for to Roos and now Hemp. Hemp on to Toon. Hemp. Cross it goes to Roos. Downway. The fourth official is Downway. will get him back. And the ball across. Goalkeeper couldn't hold. Through Carter. Had a tuck of the shirt there of Cascarino. 2-1 going into half time. Look at the speed of Cascarino. They didn't fancy the chip back. Just gives England a chance. Andy Barton. Forward. Not really had the opportunity to do that in this first half, but this is good from Beth Mead. Now you know exactly what she's going to do as soon as she sort of stops the ball and moves inside, and it's about stopping it. Set pieces, so are England. Mead. Whips it in towards Bryce, Miss Bronze, what a chance at the back post for Russo, and she got it wrong. Been on this, Russo as it lands, it's a, a difficult skill, it's quite high, it jumps quite high, the ball. France, pass it straight to Williamson, and now on to him, only Russo up with her at the moment, the players arriving, him though, plays it in. Almost found Rosso as a terrific cross. In doing so, here's Mead. The back heel to Bronze. And Fitz was there in the end. Mead almost unlocking the door. Lucy Bronze. Improvisation clever. Little back heel. It just opens up for Lucy Bronze. It just gives the Arnie. End with the corner. The bronze is in the back post, but England going towards the near post. Williamson. It's hoping that ball would drop. And I think it was Russo, wasn't it? She's trying to get some sort of head on it. But I think that maybe Williamson had a, a freer header. If she's not involved, she gets herself involved. Russo, it's a difference. Toletti. Let's move it wide. Basher. Time for her to cross it in. There's three waiting for the cross. But too much and there's no real flow to either team you've seen fits and start the way that she can distribute the ball from center back now then russo playing to the path of hemp but the move is still on for england hemp to the back post a touch and it's great vision here from russo but it's just she needed to take it in a stride and then she could have had a shot on goal Aranian did well in the end Walsh, out to Bronze, Bronze inside, Stanway chance to shoot, quickly closed off, Bronze looking towards Russo. Quite a long way out, as soon as it landed she just couldn't get it right out of the feet properly, so she decided to just recycle, keep it going. Water are out of, back into the Euros, it's Diani, and Diani, Using Darley with the overlap. That's an important interception actually from Bronze. Facing wide areas. Positioning Lucy Bronze. All lining up, waiting to receive this corner from Basha. And having to work hard to defend that. Two set pieces. Marco Toto. He hasn't seen much of the ball in this game, but Renard was waiting for her to get. Lauren Hemp. And Mead. Leaves it for him. That's a decent ball, but France able to clear. To create. 
two sides with not much between them. Here's Hemp. Digs out the cross towards Mead. And he's asking a lot. He's always really running down that left hand side. She put a good, a good few crosses into the box, but Kirby. But now England. Stanway! We we're urging her to shoot a moment or two ago. That one quite on time. Quite been enough from those areas. Good to see Frank Kirby. She does so often. Toon. And now Kelly. Toon again. Kelly. Bronze. Promising. Couldn't pick the right pass and in front. May have hurt herself in the process. Yeah, clever ball from Kelly. Which is quite unselfish, really, there, Lucy Bronze. Trying to put it on a plate for Ruby. France are taking the lead. 